Hello everyone this is the finale of what if Naruto married Hanata early, and I hope you guys enjoy this video and to like, to subscribe, and check out the playlist to see more comment down below, now let's start the, intro. Previously, Lady Hanata Sama, a fellow clan member yelled out. When the dust cleared Hanata looked down at Naruto stabbed with poles. How cruel. Restricting Naruto-kun's moments with those poles. Naruto was too surprised and in shock to speak at the moment. I won't let you hurt Naruto-kun anymore. Hanata yelled at Pain. Reinforcements. Pain asked. Hanata. No. Hanata why are you here go now you can't win. Naruto yelled. It hurt him to say that she wouldn't be able to win against Pain, but what other choice did he have? He couldn't watch the one that he come to love so dearly die. I know, I know I can't win Naruto-kun. I know I'm being selfish, but hear me out. Hanata said staring straight towards Pain. Hanata please go. I can't bear the thought of losing you. Naruto yelled in response, but his pleas were ignored. Naruto-kun I meant to say these words a long time ago, long before our relationship. I was always trying to catch up with you, wanting to always be by your side. I took the wrong path so many times, but you helped me find my way Naruto-kun, your smile is what saved me, and now that I finally got your love in return after so long, I'm not afraid to die here if it means protecting you. I'd rather die saving your life, than die doing nothing to help you. I will not watch you suffer any longer. You don't have to suffer anymore, because I'm here with you. Because I I love you so much that I'm willing to give my life for yours if it means you can live. Hanata finished her hair rising in the breeze. That was it. Naruto had nothing to say but stare at the love of his life in shock. Those eyes, Pain said as he stared at Hanata with curiosity. Filled with such anger, but no hate. Why? You watch your loved one suffer by my hands and yet you do not hate me. Pain said in almost a confused tone. I would come to hate you with all my life if it means you hurt Naruto-kun and the village anymore. Hanata spat angrily and Pain chuckled which made her spine shiver. You sputter nonsense, forming such bonds with another only gets in the way. I see the pain in your eyes. The loss of a family member. You could leave now and survive in peace if you walk away now and leave the nine tails in my hands. Pain explained. No, I can't live in peace if Naruto-kun is taken away from me. I will die before you can go any more near Naruto-kun. Hanata shouted. Balling her fists up she took a deep breath then let it out. She readied her stance out as Pain unsheathed one of his rods. Hanata slowly activated her Bioakugan. After a moment of silence she quickly turned around kicking one of the poles that shattered, surprising Naruto and Pain. Before she could do it again she was swiftly and forcefully pushed away. Getting to her feet, she stared at Pain in confusion. What? Racing towards Naruto she was quickly pushed away once again. As she tumbled backwards from the force she shrieked out in pain. Hanata. Naruto yelled desperately. Hanata please go. Hanata finally stopped tumbling and she struggled to get up. Managing she looked over at pain who was now blocking Naruto as a stream of blood flowed down her face. I can't get near Naruto-kun, I must do something. Getting to her feet she punched the air before putting her fist to her side. Focusing chakra on her fist seared at pain that was looking at her with no emotion. I have very little chakra left. But I need to save Naruto-kun. Gritting her teeth, she focused harder on applying chakra to her fist, soon appeared two lions. Can't let it end like this. Even if there is the slightest chance. Gentle step twin lion fists. Hanata shouted as she raced towards pain. Striking towards him he dodged her first swing. Her second swing, and the rest of her punches. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left right still he dodged every single move of hers suddenly he went to lift up his hand and hanata swung and hit him perfectly in the cheek now's my chance leaping towards naruto she struck another rod sending it shattering one more time though before she could she was sent flying in the air so high with a scream naruto watched in horror as she went flying into the air before plummeting to the ground hanata he screamed in horror Cut it out, a boy said with blonde hair causing the group's attention along with Hanata's. What do you want? A boy asked from the group angrily. Hey he's the kid. Another boy pointed out. That one who's always getting into trouble. 
The one everyone hates. He finished. Oh yeah, that boy. Another kid said. That guy huh. The first one said and the group stared laughing. I'm not, that guy. The blonde boy snapped. My name is Naruto Uzumaki. I'm going to be the Hokage one day. Remember that. Naruto shouted. Hokage. Hokage. The boys said and they began laughing. Are you crazy? That's a bunch of baloney. What a stupid kid. There's no way an idiot like you can be one. The kid with a brown hat referred as he punched the boy in the face surprising Hanata. Naruto slowly got up and smiled. Wanna fight? The kid asked. Better no regret it guys. Naruto said lifting a hand seal to his mouth. What seal is he weaving? The kid asked. Clone. Naruto began. No way. No way. Jitsu. Naruto finished and a puff of smoke appeared showing a paler, wobbly Naruto that fell to the ground causing the kids to laugh. That was terrible. A kid commented. Don't make us laugh. A kid snorted and Naruto leaped taking one down. Caught you of guard. How's that? Naruto snapped as he lifted his fist up. I will. I'm absolutely gonna become the Hokage. I'll prove you wrong. He yelled angrily punching the kid over and over again. Why you? Don't take us lightly. The kid said as they grabbed Naruto and started beating him up. Lady Hanata. Ko cried out. Run. The group of boys said as they raced off. Lady Hanata. Are you alright? Ko asked as he looked over. This boy. He mumbled. Come on Lady Hanata. He said grabbing her hand. Wait he came to my rescue. Hanata cried. You must not get involved with him. He said. Let us go. He said walking her away. B but. Hanata said reaching her arm out for the unconscious boy. She watched him as she was farther and farther away. Hanata. 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 Naruto yelled as Hanata's eyes slowly fluttered open. Hey. Damn it. Hanata. Naruto cried. Hanata awoke in pain a pool of blood almost covering her face. Hanata. Naruto yelled seeing she was alive. He watched in horror as she slowly got to her knees and tried to get up but fell. She tried again managing to get to her feet. She grinned her stomach and slowly walked towards him. Naruto watched as she panted for breath and she wobbly walking towards him. She eventually fell down but tried to get to her feet. Struggling she managed to get up and looked at Naruto with tears in her eyes. Stop. Hanata please stop. Naruto said. Don't come please. He chopped as he looked down sadly. Hanata began walking towards her love faster. Remembering her old memories about him. I'm not running away. Naruto yelled. It's impossible to change yourself, Neji said. Sure. She can. Don't go deciding what a person is like. Naruto yelled. Hanata walked faster towards Naruto. Go Hanata. Naruto cheered. I always thought you were so negative, hesitate, and weird. But I kind of like people like you. Naruto commented. Hanata smiled as she dragged her body towards Naruto's but she fell down. Though because she fell doesn't mean she was giving up. She crawled towards Naruto, her eyes full of determination. Naruto watched her his eyes already watering sadly. Hanata please I love you. Hanata was close to Naruto when she heard Pain say, I don't understand. Why would someone weak like you try to resist? Pain asked as Hanata grabbed the rod that was impaled into Naruto's hands. Why fight me? Pain asked. Hanata could feel Pain chakra inside the rod as she tripped it tightly. Knowing that you'll die. Pain finished. I stand by what I say. Hanata said as Naruto looked up at her in shock as she looked up. Because that's my ninja way. Hanata finished smiling at Naruto as she was lifted away into the air and thrown to the ground at such force and Pain unsheathed his rod and stabbed it right into her body. Naruto watched his mouth agape in shock as he stared at the pool of blood coming from his love. It was just like this. Pain stated. My parents were killed before my very eyes. He said. By ninja from the hidden leaf. Pain explained. Out of love, sacrifice is born. Hate is born and we are able to know pain. Pain said. Naruto stared as he felt his heart beat into the darkness. Yes. No pain. Pain finished. Suddenly there was an explosion, a dark sinister red beam through the sky. What's that? Sakura asked as she stared at the red orb. Do you have me? Pain asked as the monster roared loudly. The Nine Tails is finally here. Pain said. Is he pissed at me? Pain asked as he watched the boy turn into a miniature version of the Nine Tails. He watched as small bodies of the Nine Tails reached out causing a large tornado. What's happening down there? Sakura asked questioningly. 
She had just witnessed a tornado, that suddenly deciphered, along with large chunks of the ground being lifted up into the air. Payne either dodged, or sliced through the large chunks of earth and rock at him that was swung towards him by the small form QB. Soon there was a sudden moment of silence until a huge boulder was thrown had him but he broke it quickly after it hit him. Suddenly one of the QB's tails in the form of a fist swung and punched Payne in the face causing him to fly back, but he managed to land on his feet on a huge chunk of earth that was lifted up out of the ground. Though not soon after his land the QB's tails broke the platform Payne was standing on causing him to jump back to the ground below him. Payne was suddenly being smashed by a large chunk of earth from the QB's tail like a hammer with a nail. When he was embedded into the earth Payne looked forward. Do you hate me? He asked, and the QB's response was breaking another chunk of dirt and gravel. Lifting himself up from the dirt Payne leaped forward. Do you still think people truly understand one another? Payne asked. Lighting a crude along with the small nine tails leaping down. Though Payne watched as he transformed again, a lineage of bone appeared on his back and a skull in front of its face, bone feet and a fifth tail. The monster before him growled angrily. Your actions are justified. Payne responded. However, my pain is far greater than yours. He yelled as he punched the ground forcefully causing water to spurt out from the ground and other rock and gravel places near them. The water flowed towards the small cubie causing it to swim. Let's do this. Payne yelled as the smoke covered them. He raced towards the creature at great speed, its tails reached out towards him but Payne dodged each one of them as he raced around a large chunk of earth. A tail swung down at Payne leaped o top of it and leaped into the air until he tumbled to the ground. He laid with his hands forward as the creature shot someone fire bullets at him, he used his almighty push to dodge each and every single one of them. When they finally stopped, he closed his hands. Is that all you've got? Payne asked only to be greeted by a larger explosion from the beast causing him to tumble backwards. Not bad, Payne said as he put his arm out. This chakra, I've felt it before. What's going on? Sakura asked. Lady Hanata went out to save Naruto. The Byakugan user explained. Don't tell me she's. Sakura paused. Payne threw one of his rods at the roots that was holding the creature causing it to burn along with a huge fire. The beast roared angrily as it broke the roots from the ground. Suddenly a large green light appeared through its stomach which started wrapping itself around the beast. A ceiling jutsu, Payne asked. Then the lights disappeared slowly into the air as the creature broke the necklace of the first hockage. He broke the seal. Payne watched as the beast with six tails leaped down softly to the water. Payne narrowed his eyes at the creature. Here he comes. The creature crawled a few steps then flashed towards Payne at great speed. Payne looked around and saw the QB race towards him. He's fast. Payne balanced on the large rock as the waves from the water moved viciously causing large waves. Payne dodged the tails that reached out to attack him from the creature. When the rock broke and Payne fell to the water he yelled, Almighty push. The water circled around him at a great speed, but the QB managed to wrap one of its tails around Payne's face. The rest of it tails entered and struck into the ground as the QB's face entered. Payne managed to break from the creature tails and punched its face which only led it to growl angrily as it moved forward. Impossible, he withstood my almighty push. As the beast reached forward to him Payne flew back into the water, he landed on the earth's ground, tumbling until, he hit a large cliff with his head stuck into the cliff. He hung limp until large chunks of the cliff fell on top of him causing him to fall to the ground. Pain hands flew together causing a large part of the cliff to fly forward. Universal pull. Pain yelled as he broke free from the ground. The chunk of rock flew into the air, and dropped onto he beast. Though not a moment after it blew into pieces causing a large explosion and Pain leaned backwards. What was that? Sakura asked in shock as she stared up at the orange, yellow, and grey smoke filling the sky from afar. Oh. My god. What was that? The Anbu asked confused on what just happened. How is Naruto doing? Sakura asked worryingly. How can I put it? The Byakugan user said. Naruto is showing six tails right now. He said as he looked over at the group. At this rate, he may end up, transforming into the nine tails. He finished. Six tails. Sakura looked head in shock. Six. It's much worse than last time. Lady Katsuyu. Please tell everyone to evacuate immediately. Sakura ordered. Now what? The leaf village is destroyed beyond recognition. A lady with blonde hair and glasses gasped. You must all evacuate as far away as you can.
Katsuyu said loudly. This is due to Naruto's nine tails power. I know because my clone is attached to Naruto. She explained. He transformed into the nine tails. Ino's father questioned. But Yamato and Kakashi should have placed a sealing jutsu on him. He responded confusingly. How did this happen? He asked. It was Hanata. She tried to save Naruto and was taken down right in front of him. Katsuyu explained sadly. And then Naruto. She paused there was no need to finish that sentence. So that triggered his transformation. Shikamaru questioned. Yes, most likely. Katsuyu responded back. Where is Yamato? Ino's father asked. What is he doing at a time like this? He questioned. Did you find Kabuto? Anko asked. Yes. Sai nodded. Good don't let him spot you on. Anko mentioned. Yamato grunted in pain and he looked down at his hand that smoke from. WH what? Yamato gasped. What is it? Anko asked. He looked down at his hand and sure enough was the number six. It can't be. He undid the ceiling jutsu on his own. Six tails. That's insane. Yamato gasped as he got to his feet. There's an emergency. Sorry, but I must return to the village. Yamato said before racing off. H. Hey. Anko said. Pain leaped back watching as the beast's tails broke free from the ground. The power of the nine tails, how magnificent. Pain mumbled as he watched the tails wrap around a large boulder. The creature growled as it tried lifting itself up causing Pain to chuckle and run away as it broke the large boulder. Both Naruto and Pain are moving away from the village. The Byakugan user chimed. What? Sakura responded. It seems Pain is fleeing from the nine tails Naruto. The Hyuga explained. Serves him right. Gamakichi laughed. This is no time for laughs. Sakura snapped and the giant toad instantly stopped. We have to make sure Hanata is okay. Sakura explained worryingly. And then do something about Naruto. Sakura finished. The way he is now he'll attack anyone in sight. Sakura shuddered. I have to get a hold of Captain Yamato. Sakura thought quietly as she looked down at the ground. Pain raced through the cliff ravine as the water and the small QB chased after him. When they reached the forest, Pain looked to the side to see the beast keeping pace with him. It leaped forward in front of Pain and Pain leaped down the cliff by a stream. Jumping on the rocks he formed his hand signal. Flying through the forest above ground he searched for a hidden place he could use for a few moments. Landing on a trunk above the water looked around and saw a large tree. Leaping over he hid behind the tree. Planetary devastation. Nagato mumbled as Pain brought his hands up together. Pain leaped away in time as the QB shot forward some balls of explosion causing the tree to burst into pieces. Leaping back, he still had his hands together. Planetary devastation. Pain yelled. The orb covered the un as it sent forward a beam of light. The earth started shaking and soon chunks of the earth lifted into the air. Soon Pain lifted his hands into the air and larger chunks rose from the ground. The small QB raced towards him only to be pushed away by Pain's force. The creature soon was covered in chunks of rock. The QB burst through it sending a beam of light towards Pain but he dodged it. Chunks of the ground from under the creature soon rose and the beast was lifted into the air towards the large orb of rock and dirt in the air. Pain yelled out as he put his hands together causing a mountain to slice in half. The QB shot forward some explosions causing some of the chunks in the air to break into pieces. Pain dodged the QB's attack with a boulder that lifted up in front of him. Pain watched as the Earth's ground rose up forming more of an orb-shaped chunk of dirt and rock in the air covering the sun. The QB tried breaking it but it caused no damage and Pain focused harder. When the creature met with the boulder more chunks rose covering the beast. The yellow, orange, and red bubbles popped from within the sewer. Why? Naruto thought as he laid in the water. Why did it come to this? Naruto questioned as the QB stared at him. How would you confront this hatred, in order to create peace? I want to hear your answer. Pain asked. Naruto thought hard about what he said. How should I know? It hurts. I hate this. Pain watched as the orb turned red and there was a sudden explosion. Naruto lifted himself up from the water and hung limp. I didn't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know anything anymore. Naruto thought angrily as he lifted his hands up and brought them to his head. Someone, help me, give me the answer. Destroy everything. The QB answered. Naruto opened his eyes in surprise. Erase everything that hurts. The QB grumbled. Give me your soul. The fox said. I will save you from your suffering. The demon fox eyes glowed. 
Naruto suddenly stretched his arms out as his jacket ripped open along with his shirt. The seal on his stomach appeared and Naruto's head went limp. The seal slowly leaked into the sewer water causing the water around him to turn black. Yes, you're doing fine. He QB reassured as more of the water turned black. Yamato looked down at his hand and saw the number 8 written. 8. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Yamato said as he raced through the forest. Pain watched as the massive chakra was like a flame, it spread throughout the large chunk of rock. A sudden large hand broke through the rock along with eight tails. I never imagined it would be this powerful. Pain said as he watched half of the Kyuubi's body burst out as it roared. Naruto stared up as his eyes turned into red slits. The Kyuubi shot out fire through its mouth creating somewhat like meteoroids into the sky and they slowly but quickly fell towards the ground. Naruto got to his feet slowly as the demon fox grumbled, come over here. Naruto began walking towards the Kyuubi's cell. Come, rip this seal off me. The Kyuubi ordered. Slowly Naruto walked towards the fox. Yamato paused and looked down at his hand in shock. 9. Damn it, it's too late. How could this happen? Yamato asked as he gripped his hand. Slowly Naruto got closer to the cell, and when he reached the cell he was slowly lifted up by the sewer water until he was facing the large seal. His hand slowly lifted up and touched the seal as he began tearing, he was pushed away from the cell lifting him from his trance. When Naruto looked up the first thing he saw was a hand reaching out to him. Naruto slowly took and was lifted to his feet as H stared in shock at the robe of the fourth hockage. Yo. The Kyuubi mumbled but the man overed over so Naruto wouldn't see the fox. Though Naruto did finish the Kyuubi's sentence in shock. Fourth, Hokage. Naruto. He replied. I worked it into the seal spell, so that I would appear within your psyche. Should the seal be broken to the point you sprouted the eighth tail. I really wanted to avoid that, the Hokage explained. Since I had no desire to see you again, nine tails. The man said as he looked back at the fox which made him growl in anger showing his large, sharp teeth. Then again, he said as he turned back to Naruto. I did look forward to seeing my son as a young man. So, I'll call it even. The Hokage said. Fourth Hokage. The QB growled. Come here. I'll rip you to shreds. The fox snapped. Well, if that's the case, I'll stay away. Minato responded. Right Naruto. He asked. Naruto, my name, Naruto replied in shock. How come the fourth Hokage knows my name? Naruto asked. Hmm. Well, I'm the one who named you. You are my son, after all. Minato replied honestly. Son. Then, I'm, Naruto paused. Yes. Minato finished. You heard me. You're my son. The Hokage said making Naruto look at him in more shock, he even started to tremble as tears fell from his eyes. Naruto began laughing causing the fox to become angrier. Fourth Hokage. The demon snapped. Loud fellow, isn't he? Minato asked. Let's go somewhere more quiet. He said and with a snap of his finger they were in a pure white place and Naruto looked around. Third Hokage didn't tell you much of anything, did he? Minato asked. I guess he wanted to suppress as much information about the nine tails as possible. Minato said and Naruto wiped his eyes once again. If people had found out you were my son, you'd have been in danger. He explained and Naruto looked up. Dad, Naruto paused catching the Hokage's attention. Then out of nowhere Naruto fist met with his father's stomach. Why did you seal the nine tails inside your own son? Do you know what I went through because of that? All the grown-ups looked at me with contempt. And I couldn't make any friends. I wanted people to accept me. Naruto cried angrily as he went on. So. I trained really hard to become strong. Then I met Aruka Sensei, and Kakashi Sensei, and Pervy Sage, and I was happy because they helped make me stronger. But because of that, a group called the Akatsuki came after me, so I had to train even more. I got to be even stronger, but the Akatsuki still killed my friends. But, huh, what am I saying? Naruto rubbed his head with his hands angrily as he went on. Damn it, am I supposed to be happy or mad? I don't know anymore. Naruto cried as he lifted his arm to hid his face that was in tears. Naruto, how old are you now? Minato asked calmly. 16. Naruto sobbed. Wow, you're already 16 years old, huh? Minato said. It must have been hard for you. I'm sorry Naruto, the Hokage apologized. I suppose after putting my own son through so much, I have no right to act like a father and apologize. Minato said. 
It's all right, already. Naruto responded when he was done crying and his tears were gone. I'm the son, of the fourth Hokage, so I can handle it. Naruto mumbled and Minato smiled in response. I sealed half of the Nine Tails chakra inside you, because I believed you could control its power. Minato explained and Naruto looked up in surprise. Because you are my son. Minato explained. And there is a reason to why I did this. When the Nine Tails attacked the village 16 years ago, I learned some things. Minato said. What? Naruto asked questioningly. There was a mastermind who manipulated the Nine Tails to attack the village. Minato reasoned. Mastermind. Naruto repeated confusingly. A powerful ninja at that. It would require a special kind of power to go up against such an opponent I believe he will attack our village again. Minato finished and Naruto closed his eyes and looked down, then opened them and looked away. The leaf village has already been destroyed. Naruto said truthfully. Yes, I watched from inside you. Minato responded and Naruto looked at him in shock. You watched. Naruto gasped. I know about Jiraiya Sensei too. Minato said sadly. Then was it Pain who used the Nine Tails to attack the village before? Naruto asked quickly. No, it wasn't. Minato nodded. Then who was it? Naruto asked. One of the Akatsuki. Minato answered. The one with the mask. Minato explained causing Naruto to remember his encounter with the Akatsuki member when after Sasuke. Back then he read through every action I took. Minato said while looking away. He's no ordinary ninja. This man is probably just using pain. Minato finished. No. Pain had a grudge against the hidden leaf. He said, long ago, his own village was wiped out like ours. Naruto shot back in reply. That's right. Minato replied without hesitation. Because of that hatred, he's being used. Minato explained for his son. Used. Someone strong like him. Naruto questioned. And what about the mastermind masked ninja? Why is everyone attacking the leaf? Naruto asked loudly. Perhaps as long as there's a ninja system in this world, there can be no peace. Minato reasoned. Pain questioned you about peace, but finding the answer is difficult. Minato responded. In order to save something dear, wars are waged. Minato said making Naruto remember Hanata fighting pain. As long as there is there is love, there will be hate. Minato said and Naruto instantly remembered Hanata's death. And some will take advantage of that hatred. This monster is known as hate will not die while there is a system of ninja. Minato went on. It will give birth to more pains. It was pain who killed Jiraiya Sensei, but upon careful thought, it can be said that the chaotic world of the ninja, which gave rise to pain, is equally guilty. To be a ninja is to confront hatred. Each and every one of us battles hatred. Jiraiya Sensei trusted you to find a way to end this hatred. Minato finished. Still, can't forgive pain. Naruto argued. There's no way I can forgive him. Naruto whispered. I know. Minato replied. Fourth Hokage, tell me. What should I do? Naruto asked intently. You must find the answer yourself. I do not have the answer. He answered. If pervy sage and you don't know the answer, then how am I to know? Naruto shouted questioningly. Everyone X is too much. Naruto looked down. I'm not smart. Naruto said as he looked back up. And I'm not a great ninja. And. Naruto didn't finish because his father ruffled his hair. I know you'll find the answer. I have faith in you. Minato smiled and Naruto looked at him in surprise. Really? You really believe I can do it? Naruto asked. To be a parent, is to have undying faith in one's child. Minato explained as he removed his hand from Naruto's hair. Now then, it's time for me to go. My chakra's fading. Minato said as he looked at his hand. Ha. Huh. No wait. Naruto responded but Minato just looked at him. I will rebuild the seal. He said as he placed his hand on Naruto's stomach. However, this will be for the last time. Minato finished as he fixed the seal making Naruto move in pain. The leaf can be rebuilt. I'm counting on you, Naruto. Minato smiled as he slowly faded away without another word and Naruto looked at the spot in determination. Thanks, Dad. Pain watched as the beast roared and tried to break its way through. He is crawling out of the planetary devastation. Pain said as he lifted his arms. What incredible strength. I must increase the size, Pain mumbled though before he could the beast disappeared into smoke. The nine tails, disappeared. Pain asked confusingly and he looked in surprise. 
There standing on the rock looking down upon him was Naruto, though not in the shape of the QB. His doubt is gone, what happened? Does he now have control over the Nine Tails? Pain asked. Naruto reached the ground after leaping from the crumbling rocks as the large dirt and rock orb started falling into pieces and hitting the ground. The transformation into the Nine Tails disturbed my chakra. It made me lose my shadow clone. I can only use the sage jutsu chakra I have left in me. Naruto stared straight ahead at Pain who was in deep thought. Naruto felt Katsuyu crawl out from his jacket and sigh in relief. I thought I was going to die. Katsuyu sighed and Naruto looked around. What the? Naruto paused as he saw smoke from the village. That's where the village is, what happened? Naruto asked. You did it, Naruto when you were in the Nine Tails state. Katsuyu explained and Naruto remembered his love Hanata fighting pain. I killed Hanata, and the people of the Leaf Village. Naruto tried searching for her chakra but there was no sign of it which meant only one thing. I can't sense her chakra. Hanata, is dead. Naruto choked in grief. Yes. And that's how you entered Nine Tails mode from when Pain killed her. Katsuyu explained and Naruto looked down sadly as a tear shed. Hanata, damn it Hanata. It's my fault I couldn't protect you. More tears fell down as he silently mumbled, I see. Neji leaped in front of Hanata who was laying on the ground in a small pool of blood. Lady Hanata. Neji shouted worrying as he bent down along with Tenten checking her. Her injuries aren't fatal, but from the amount of blood she's been bleeding and been without medical care for a while. I'll check to see if there is a pulse. Tenten explained. Tenten began to worry when she couldn't find a pulse. She checked several more times but ended up with nothing and the rest of the group seemed to get the idea, especially Neji. Lady Hanata. Neji whispered as a tear began to fall. Neji looked up when he felt two sudden hands on his shoulder. Lee. And Gai Sensei. Don't let Hanata's death be in vain for now we must help anyone that needs it. Guy explained and Neji rubbed his eyes along with Lee and Tenten. Slowly Neji picked his cousin off the ground and slid her onto his back. Lady Hanata. When Naruto was done wiping his eyes he looked straight ahead at Pain who stared at him. It's time to settle this. Pain announced and Naruto leaped down off the pile of rocks and boulders. Have you come to understand a little of what Pain is? Pain asked. Unless you know the same pain, you cannot truly know another. And even if you get to know others, there can be no understanding. That is the truth, Pain explained. Just like how it's useless to chase after Sasuke. Pain finished which caused Naruto's attention as he closed his eyes and then reopened them. Take me to where the real pain is. I want to speak to you face to face. As Kakashi lifted Naruto on his back Naruto and he could hear cheers coming closer and closer. Naruto wondered what it was until he saw everyone in Kanoa cheering for him. Kakashi stopped when they got close enough to the villages. Hmm. Naruto mumbled. They all been waiting for your return, Kakashi said to him. Way to go Naruto. A villager yelled out. We knew you could do it. Another one yelled out surprising Naruto as his eyes widen. Welcome back. The kids yelled as they raced up to him. Naruto. They cheered. WH what's going on? Naruto asked in shock. I relayed every event in detail that occurred, Katsuyu answered as the kids reached him and began asking questions. H hey don't push, Naruto said but the kids ignored him. Suddenly he saw Sakura walk towards him, though before he could say anything she spoke first. Naruto, you reckless idiot. She snapped as she punched him in the head and caught him in a hug that surprised him. Thank you, Sakura whispered quietly to him. Naruto suddenly heard some whispers from the kids and villagers, though one caught his attention. I thought Naruto and that Hyuga girl was dating. A villager asked quietly. Hanata, Hanata, Hanata. Naruto pulled away from Sakura hug and looked around worryingly. Hanata, Sakura-chan where is Hanata? Naruto asked frantically as he held the pink-haired girl's shoulder tightly. En Naruto-kun. A voice called out making Naruto's body freeze in shock. Slowly he turned around to see the one he's come to love so dearly stand away from him, her face blushing as she looked at him. Her eyes were filled with so much love that Naruto could drown in it. His eyes welled up in happiness as a tear fell down as he raced towards her. Reaching out his arms he grabbed her in a tight hug like she would disappear any second if he didn't hold on to her. Hi Hanata. Naruto sobbed softly as he buried his face in the crook of her neck. He felt her arms grip the back of his jacket tightly as she rubbed his back. It's okay Naruto-kun, I'm here now, 
Hanato whispered softly into his ear, she felt his body shiver at her voice. Naruto looked up and his eyes met with her eyes as they stared lovingly at each other, the villagers sighed in awe while other ones giggled and smiled. I love you, so, so much, Naruto whispered to her softly and she smiled happily. I love you, so, so, so much too, Hanata said softly, Naruto's face leaned down and soon the two of their lips met. It was a sweet, gentle, and loving kiss. Naruto wanted to deepen it until he realized the whole village was watching them and cheering him on so he broke the kiss and chuckled lightly. We can finish this later, Naruto whispered huskily in her ear causing her to blush furiously and shiver in delight. Hanata giggled as people gathered around them and picked Naruto up and threw him into the air and caught him repeating the process all over as they cheered for him. As night came the villagers went to rest in either tents or houses that Yamato used his jutsus to make. Though Naruto and Hanata were resting outside the destroyed village by a tree. Naruto nuzzled his face in the crook of Hanata's neck and she shivered. Naruto paused for a second and she looked at him confused why he stopped. She noticed his face was full of guilt. And Naruto-kun what's wrong? Hanata asked questioningly and he sighed in response. It's just. I couldn't protect you against pain I just laid. Stop. Naruto-kun doesn't blame yourself for that. You couldn't do anything with those rods inside you. It was my fault that I went down there to help you, it was my fault that I, fallen. She insisted. So, don't you ever blame yourself for that, and I have no regret of doing what I did if it meant helping you live. Hanata said, her eyes full of determination. Naruto's eyes sparkled happily as he watched her. I love you Hanata, Naruto whispered and she blushed. I I love you too Naruto-kun. She stammered happily. Naruto leaned down and blew on her ear. Lemon warning. Don't read the rest of the chapter if you don't like it, but basically, it's life, and I'm sure it will happen to you, later on, so here is some experience. Cheeky smiley face. We never finished what we started from earlier. He whispered huskily and Hanata's face turned redder as he lifted her up and sat her down on his lap. Hanata felt dizzy as she was close to fainting but she held on. She noticed her hands were firmly planted on his chest, to be honest, she loved the thought of feeling Naruto's chest, without a jacket, and a shirt. She blushed deeper at the thought of it. Hanata-chan. He whispered huskily and Hanata trembled. Ever since I left to train as a sage I've been having certain, thoughts, about you. He murmured as he played with her hair and Hanata looked at him in shock. Is he been having those thoughts about me like I have about him? And I'm hoping you're having those same exact thoughts about me. He whispered as he stared at her, his eyes full of love and lust. Hanata could only nod in embarrassment and he grinned. Tell me Hanata-chan what do you want me to do? Naruto mumbled and she gulped slowly. What's with Naruto-kun? Well, he is a man, so I guess it's normal if he acts this way. She lifted her finger that was trembling and she pointed to his jacket. You want my jacket? He asked, his tone low and she nodded in reply. Take it off for me then. He smiled his famous smile. Hanata's heart was beating faster than ever as she slowly unzipped his jacket and took it off and laid it on the ground. Hanata looked at his fishnet shirt that hugged his muscles making them show. Naruto seemed to notice she was staring because he took off his shirt and threw it to the ground as she stared hungrily at his body. She gulped as she slowly reached out and laid her hands on his chest. If you could see the shy girl her face was as red as an apple, and she was on the verge of fainting. She slowly relaxed and she began to take in every muscle and skin on his upper body. And Naruto-kun why you are very handsome. Hanata stammered embarrassingly and Naruto chuckled as he wrapped his arms around his love. You know Hanata-chan, is it okay if I do the same to you? He asked quietly and Hanata tensed and he seemed to know that she was nervous. You don't have to, I just thought, we could take this next step in our relationship, only touching though, but if you're not ready then. No. She blurted out and Naruto froze in surprise. I I mean, I want T to take this step with you. She mumbled. God I'm being so rude Naruto-kun. I keep interrupting him. I hope he's not mad. Though before she could apologize Naruto pinned her on the ground as he began kissing her neck hungrily, along with unzipping her jacket. Hanata smiled at him, she didn't mind if he was a little forceful. She loved him the way he was, and she wouldn't want him to change. Naruto quickly slipped off her jacket and he leaned down and kissed her soft lips. I hope I'm doing everything right so far, I think I'm being too pushy, but she hasn't said anything yet. Naruto licked her lip, 
asking for entrance and she happily gave it to him and his tongue slithered into her mouth. Hanata moaned into the kiss making Naruto smirk happily. Right now, all Naruto wanted to do was make it up to Hanata. She showed him how much she loved him by dying for him, so now that Nagato brought her back, he was going to show her how much he loved her back by making her drown in pleasure and happiness. Slowly he slid his hand up her fishnet shirt and rested his hand on her soft, and smooth stomach. Hanata-chan your skin is so soft, Naruto mumbled as he broke the kiss. T thank you and Naruto-kun. She panted as she caught her breath from the kiss. The two just stared at each other happily, though Hanata could tell he was nervous. He's just as nervous as I am, but I'm willing to take this step with him, and he is too. Naruto-kun just needs a little boost of help. Slowly grabbing his hand that rested on her stomach she slid it up further until his hand rested on her breast that was hidden beneath her bra. T there you g go. Hanata stuttered and Naruto kissed her on the forehead lovingly. Naruto rubbed her bra for a moment until his other hand slowly lifted up her shirt which she allowed, throwing it off the two looked at each other with smiles. Naruto leaned down both his hands and cupped each breast in one, though his hands could barely fit around them since they were so large. Hanata-chan you're beautiful, Naruto whispered as he leaned down and kissed the middle of her cleavage. Hanata moaned and shivered in response, arousing Naruto even more. Naruto's hand slithered behind her back as she laid down and unclasped the bra, slowly he lifted up and over her arms that laid limp on the ground. When Naruto laid her bra on the ground he turned back and faced the young Hyuga. She was beautiful, the moonlight shone on her skin causing her skin to glow. Her eyes were full of love, and a little bit of lust that shone beautifully. Beautiful, Naruto whispered and he leaned down and kissed her and she kissed him back. Naruto felt one of her knees lift up between his two legs, he also felt her hands rest on his chest as she rubbed his stomach. And Naruto-kun, I want to take it this step with you, be but maybe in a more hidden place. Hanata pointed out and Naruto sighed since she was right. Hanata, I know you're right but, you showed me how much you love me by fighting pain, and now I want to make it up to you. Naruto insisted on making Hanata blush and smile lovingly. By Akugan. Hanata activated and looked around, there was not even a single soul in sight. She sighed in relief and deactivated her Byakugan and smiled at her love. Then P please do what you want with M me. Hanata stammered happily making Naruto blush furiously and he grinned nervously. Tell me when to stop if you're uncomfortable. This is all for you. Naruto said and Hanata just nodded with a blush. Naruto then kissed her deeply, then moved down her neck, then he reached her left breast. Then he went in for the kill and plotted the beautiful mound into his mouth which caused her to gasp in pleasure. He slowly sucked while massaging her other breast, he loved hearing the soft moans coming from his lover. He gently bit the small nipple making the shy girl squeak in surprise which made him grin as he moved to the other breast. He did this action for a while until he let go with a loud pop. He looked at his love who had her eyes closed and was panting for breath, her cheeks flushed. She looked absolutely sexy. Suddenly he could feel Hanata leg hit his bulge lightly making him groan with pleasure. Hanata opened her eyes to see Naruto flushed, that noise he made she found sexy. She moved her leg against him and he groaned again in response. I'm being so selfish making Naruto-kun do all the work. As his girlfriend, I shall fulfill his needs. Hanata lightly rubbed his cheek making his eyes open in surprise. Sorry Hanata, it just gives me so time for my body to relax in certain places, then I'll go back to pleasuring you. He shuttered, his voice filled with guilt. He was surprised when she shook her head in disapproval. He was also surprised when she lightly pushed him to the ground and got on top of him. It's my turn T to G give you why your needs. She stammered embarrassingly making him blush deeper, his eyes widening in surprise. Why you don't have to? He quickly said but she shook her head no. She leaned down and kissed his lips, then moved to his cheek and neck, slowly his stomach. When she went further down her delicate hands touched the band of his pants and lightly tugged him down. She heard Naruto gulp in nervousness. With the help of her boyfriend, his sandals and pants were off completely. Hanata looked back up at his green froggy boxes and giggled, Naruto was Naruto and she loved it, but Naruto blushed in embarrassment. Then she noticed the large bulge showing, it was asking to be uncovered from its cage. Naruto seemed to notice her stare, so he covered the bulge with his hands in embarrassment making Hanata look at him. S sorry if I it's n not what you w were expecting, he stammered but Hanata shook her head. 
I I'm just surprised, I Eno Chan and the others s said it was usually s smaller, p please doesn't h hide yourself. I l love you no matter w what. She blushed from saying such dirty things, making his heart melt. Slowly he moved his hands away and she lightly grabbed his boxes and pulled them down until they were fully off. She looked back at his manhood. Eno Chan said that guys like it if you, suck on it. Or the other thing. Hanata decided to try the other things, she slowly grabbed a hold of his manhood. Naruto groaning in pleasure, he was so weak under her touch, she loved it. She slowly slid her hand up, then down earning groans of pleasure, she did this action slowly for a minute or two, making Naruto become impatient. H Hanata, F faster, please. He begged and Hanata happily did as she was asked. Hanata, Hanata, Hanata. He moaned over and over again making Hanata do a daring move and put her mouth to the head, the action making Naruto jump in surprise but then slowly relax as he moaned. Hanata bobbed her head up and down, sure it tasted weird but it wasn't bad. Gee god Hanata, f faster. He begged and she went faster, and this went on for a good three minutes until Naruto's body tensed up. H Hanata, I'm, or about T2, he never finished because his body shook drastically as he released since there was no warning Hanata was surprised as it hit her mouth since there was a large amount she ended up choking on the sticky liquid. When Naruto heard Hanata coughing he immediately sat up to her side. Hanata, I'm so sorry, look we can stop if you want. Man, this is all my fault. Naruto said hanging his head in shame, only to be surprised when he felt her hand caress his cheek lovingly. He looked up to see the sexiest thing in the world, Hanata's mouth had his liquid dripping out onto her creamy skin along with her breast, her eyes full of love and lust. She shook her head in disapproval. And no, it's not your f fault, and I I don't want to s stop, please, Hanata whispered as she placed her hands on his shoulders. Naruto stood in awe, then he shivered when Hanata kissed his chest while caressing his stomach. Handsome, she whispered lovingly. Naruto then remembered why he was doing all this, it was for her from showing how much she loved him by dying because of pain. He pounced on her pinning her to the ground as he hungrily kissed her neck all the way down to her stomach as he was slowly pulling her pants down. He stopped kissing her and took off her sandals along with her pants. He looked back up to see his love panting, her eyes closed shut. He then looked at her lavender panties, they were absolutely soaked with her juices. He smiled, he was happy that his girlfriend was so turned on because of him. He gently rubbed the panties with his fingers causing Hanata to shiver and moan. In Naruto-kun, she begged in a quiet voice, and he understood what she was asking for. He quickly took off the rest of her clothing and then hovered over his lover kissing her deeply. When he broke the kiss, he saw Hanata looking at him, her cheeks covered in tears. I love you, she whispered lovingly making his heart melt. I love you too, he whispered as he kissed her again. Are you sure about this? He asked and she nodded. Oh of course, yes since I love you. She replied making him smile happily. Slowly he entered her precious treasure, and he noticed her face scrunch up in pain. As he entered more he felt some sort of barrier. Ha, huh, he asked. En Naruto kunai I'm a virgin, s so just break tea the wall cue quickly. She managed to say and Naruto nodded. I love you Hanata Huga. He said before smashing into her quickly causing her to squeal in pain, and tears fell from her eyes. I'm sorry, he whispered and she just shook her head. I it's fine w we are no one now. She smiled despite the pain. Naruto then kissed her waiting for her approval to move when the pain was gone. After a few minutes, she squirmed around and nodded. Slowly and gently he began moving in and out, going through his own pain of holding back. H Hanata C can I go F faster? He panted questioningly, she blushed and nodded sweetly as she cupped his chin. With that answer, all his thoughts holding him back disappeared as he quickly went faster and deeper, Hanata moaning in approval. Hanata, Hanata, Naruto moaned huskily. And Naruto-kun, Naruto-kun. Hanata moaned loudly. Naruto was enjoying the scene below him. Hanata's breasts bouncing as he pounded her, the sweat making her body shimmer as the moonlight hit it, her lavender eyes full of love and lust. Naruto cupped one of her breasts and took it into his mouth hungrily making Hanata's pleasure rise. It went on for about seven minutes until the two felt a pressure rise in their areas. En Naruto-kun. Hanata moaned loudly as her body shivered as she reached her climax and her juices flowed onto his manhood. H. Hanata. Naruto grunted as he released into her. He felt exhausted as he landed on her lover. 
H. Hanata that, was so amazing I can't even explain it. Naruto whispered to her as he slid off her to her side. I I've been w waiting so long for you to tea take me as yours. She confessed happily making his heart melt again. Thank you. Really it means a lot. I plan on being yours till death. Naruto replied happily making her eyes widen. Why you mean? She paused in shock. Of course, I plan on marrying you. I love you and only you Hanata. Naruto said lovingly making Hanata's eyes water, tears falling down her face. Thank you, she whispered tiredly before falling asleep in his arms and he smiled. No thank you my love, he whispered back before grabbing his jacket to cover somewhat parts of their bodies and soon joined his love in sleep. That will be it for this video if you want more comment down below, like, subscribe. And see you guys later.